This is a video for GCSE Business Studies and it is looking at exchange rates and what it's considering is the effects of changing exchange rates. So we won't be looking at how to calculate exchange rates in this video, we'll be simply looking at uh, what might happen if a currency strengthens or it weakens. So to start off with, um, exchange rates are the rate at which one currency will be exchanged for another. So it's also regarded as the value of one country's currency in relation again to another. So you, you can you can look for this online, you can have a look at what the current exchange rate is based on maybe where you're from and your currency. Uh, because I'm focusing mostly on AQA, we'll be looking mostly at the pound. And in comparison, usually, uh, you might find an exam question that is based on maybe the euro or the dollar. So this has been the exchange rate for the pound against the euro for the last year. And we can see there's been quite a lot of fluctuations. And it shows you that the pound has um, it's been kind of like all over the place, especially in August 2017 when it was when it was much weaker than it has been in the past. If we think about, for example, April 2017, and we think about maybe around this point here, it's almost at uh, one euro twenty. So for one pound, you get in return one euro twenty. And if we go to August, one um, one pound wouldn't even get you one euro ten. So you're getting less for your money because of that. And it's had it's obviously had an impact. And if we have a look at this article down here, we can see that um, the independent um, obviously they did an article on it because it was big news in August. Uh, the pound sterling falls to almost eight year low against the euro as inflation um, comes in lower than expected. Uh, analysts analysts say sorry that sterling could fall to parity against the European single currency if the likelihood of a bad Brexit deal increases. And again, it just relates to the uncertainty that is happening at the moment, and that's what's really hurting the. Um, the pound. Now just a reminder, if the pound falls, the technical term is that it depreciates. And if the pound strengthens again, as you can see, if we go back here, and we can see that um, again in October, we can see from August to October, it does start to rise again. And it, and it goes to maybe the, uh, well, in fact, if we're looking at here, we can see it hits the, the one euro 15. So it's gone from maybe one euro um, seven to maybe one, uh, one euro 15. So it shows that the pound has started to strengthen again. Now if it strengthens, that may, the technical term for that is it appreciates. Now the best way to consider um, what the effects could be of a strong pound or a uh, weak pound is, is this. So, uh, spiced. Now, spiced, if you remember what spice stands for, then this will help you understand the effects of exchange rates all the time, regardless of what the currency is. Because if it's a different currency, then you simply just get rid of the pound and change it to a different currency. But what you've got is if you've got a strong pound, then your imports are cheaper and your exports Adira. And that can tell you a lot of different uh, different impacts on the on the UK economy. So for example, the UK economy are quite reliant on uh, on imports. So if we've got a strong pound that really helps us to buy more imports for a cheaper uh, for a cheaper cost. And that means that we can um, because what some of the imports that we, we buy in is resources to, to manufacture or maybe just in terms of stock to sell on the high street. And that means that we can keep prices lower because we're able to buy these imported resources for a cheaper price. But it does mean that exports are dearer. And what that means is that we are less internationally competitive because other countries see our products as uh, being more expensive. So therefore it reduces the demand sometimes for UK goods. Now there is also another issue of imports being cheaper. That sometimes comes at a cost because it means that domestic uh, producers might be missing out because again what that means is that UK customers might opt to buy from abroad because it's cheaper than, uh, than the domestic goods so that can also bring about a uh, less demand for domestic goods so it has its advantages it has its disadvantages so let's quickly write some of that uh, some of these down 
So the first points I've been looking at is imports. So imports being cheaper helps bring in cheaper resources which can help to keep prices of goods and services down. However, may come at a cost uh, as there could be less d demand for domestic UK goods. Then if we're looking at exports, so I've put here, exports are more expensive to other countries, so UK is less internationally competitive. However, if UK goods are needed, so if, if for example, UK goods are in high demand for what it might be to do with the quality of the goods or the necessity of the goods, then at least um, if demand remains the same, the UK firms will be generating higher revenue because of our pounds. Now, when, if, if the pound weakens like it has done in the last year, then we just, we just reverse this. So what we do is, instead of strong, we say weak. So weak pounds. Instead of imports being cheaper, imports become dearer. And instead of uh, exports becoming dear, exports become cheaper. So what we have, I call it whippy deck. So um, weak pound, imports dearer, exports cheaper. And we just, again, we just reverse it. So what that means is imports will be dearer, and that might come at a cost in terms of uh, our reliance on buying imports. So it might pu push up um, some prices for goods that are reliant on maybe imported resources. However, it might mean that UK domestic goods are getting demanded more by uh, UK customers because of that. Um, exports being cheaper means that we might be more internationally competitive. Uh, tourism, for example, might improve in the UK where UK customers are looking at UK holidays because it's too expensive to go abroad, but also foreign customers are looking to come to the UK because it's now cheaper. So following on from this, I've looked at a couple of Guardian articles based on the weak pound, and we can see here that weak pound brings record numbers of tourists to UK in August, and it's because exports were cheaper. Um, for example, maybe American customers or, or other European customers may be thinking, perhaps because of the exchange rate before, it was too expensive to visit the UK, but this is the best time to do it because the UK pound is currently weak. Uh, also, some UK manufacturers were upbeat as weak pound boosted exports because, again, there might have been higher demand from other countries. However, obviously, there are issues because weak pound is hitting spending rather than boosting UK trade. So what this is actually a counter-argument to the manufacturing story in the last um, a few seconds ago, saying actually because the manufacturing sector in the UK is so small, it's not really taking advantage of the... Um, the, the weaker pound, but instead is actually impacting the UK high street more because it's, it's it, because of the imports being more expensive for certain stock, certain resources, is meaning that prices are starting to rise in the UK. And that's, that would be called cost push inflation. And remember, inflation is just where average price level is increasing. Now, uh, also retailers warn of weak pound and blows to consumer confidence. So higher import costs will boost shop prices while Brexit talks create climate of uncertainty. Now, I'm just going to show you a video that was, uh, that was created by the BBC News, which kind of demonstrates this point even further. What they do is they interview some customers on the high street about some of their concerns of the weak pound. The weak pound will have an impact on prices, especially clothing and electricals, where the majority is imported from abroad. Retailers have bought currency ahead, so it's probably not going to hit prices until later in the year when they do their next round of buying. I'm really worried about prices going up. Um, already it's really hard to get on a property ladder and normal day-to-day -day things are just about managing. So now it feels like there's this big worry, this big cloud over your head that you don't want to spend too much and if things are going up, how are we supposed to budget again? Everybody's just about getting themselves on their feet and now it seems like this has all happened and we have to reevaluate everything we're doing. So we can see when, uh, the, the, when there are fluctuations in the exchange rate, it can bring about uncertainty because it's hard to budget, it's hard to plan because of how globalised the world is. We depend on trade from abroad and we depend on imports and we also depend on exports. So we can kind of say that, that it, it makes it harder to plan for. Now there are advantages of a strong pound and there are advantages of a weak pound, but again there's disadvantages for both as well. So it just completely depends on the situation of the business. If you've got a business that is heavily reliant on imports and, and require imports to maybe manufacture their goods or to sell their goods, then what they would want is they would want a strong pound because imports would be cheaper. 
If you've got a company that is heavily reliant on exports and depend on demand from abroad, then again, what you'd expect, uh, they would prefer a weaker pound where exports would be cheaper for them because it would, it would increase the demand for, this, uh, for, for their good or their service. If you were thinking about, for example, the hotel industry or the tourism industry in the UK, They've been probably quite happy with the weak pound because the amount of um, tourists it's attracted and also the amount of UK customers that have opted to stay locally for their holidays rather than going abroad. So it just it completely depends on the situation. It depends on the business. And it depends on what they what they need imports and exports for. 